Hi everyone, I'm Katherine Elizabeth from Cat Beth Art. Welcome to my art channel and to episode 37. I'm so happy to have you here today. In today's episode, we're going to be continuing on with that warm color palette that I am actually enjoying. In today's episode, I'll be using two used 8x8 canvases and I'll also be using some drippings from previous paintings. And so it's kind of a recycled day, if you will. Uh, let's take you down the studio and see the first one. Here I am with my 8x8 used canvas on a painting that I didn't particularly like. And I'm going to use the paint drippings as my pillow paint. And here I am scooping the paint drippings up onto the canvas. I hope it's enough. Just using my torch there to get rid of some of the bubbles. There are so many bubbles. Just trying to get rid of them all. And then I begin my layering. I'm using the same layering strategy that I used in my last painting. I really enjoyed that blending of colors that way. So I'm keeping that. I just love the way the greens blend with the sockeye. Really, really pretty.
not too happy with the center. I think that there's a lot of black there. And so sometimes what I'll do is I'll get my skewer out and just give it a swirl, which is what I've done here. It doesn't always work out, but I thought I'd give it a try. some bubbles again just trying to pop them there are so many I'm not going to be able to get them all Stay tuned for the dried result. So here's the result of painting number one. If I don't like the way the paint is blowing out or tilting off, I will often do these swirls. They don't always work. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. In this painting, I think they worked really nicely. I did get a lot of bubbles as I tend to do with leftover paint. If you have any ideas of how I can avoid that, just let me know, please. I'd love to get a tip on that. All right, let's take you down the studio again for painting number two. And here I am with my second painting. It's an 8x8 used canvas again. And I begin scooping the paint drippings off the side and putting them onto the top of the canvas for my pillow paint. A lot of bubbles again you see again I'm going to try to get rid of some of them with a the torch of course I mentioned before that you do have to be careful with the torch on house paint um, because it uh, it can blister it can form a skin um, and it doesn't do pretty things so I just give it really quick bursts along the way and I begin my layering I'm layering in the same way again
Again, I'm really loving the blending of the sockeye and the greens and the golds too. Really, really pretty. spin and I'm noticing here an area of the painting where the paint pigments itself seems to be disintegrating. You'll see me try to get rid of that and to tilt it off the canvas, but there are some other areas of that too. I'm not really sure why that happens. If any of you know, please uh, comment below. I'd like to know exactly what causes it, how to avoid it. Um, so any information you can give me on that would be really helpful. And stay tuned for the dried result. And here's the result of that painting. I really like the way this little one turned out. I love the blending right here and a little bit of drama right here. Some things I don't like about it, there's a number of bubbles here, and also the paint pigment seem to have lost its binding or something, and there's some episodes of it right around here. If you have any ideas of why that happened or how I can avoid it, please just let me know. It didn't happen with any of my other paintings, and I used the same paint container that I had with the other previous warm colors that I've done so far, um, but if you have any tips on what I can do about that. Put them down in the comments, please. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to do so. Uh, it costs you nothing. And for those of you who have already subscribed, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Until next time, bye.